it's Rachel from 7 and All, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a look inside five different preschool curriculums and kind of comparing and contrasting these curriculums, talking about the pros and the cons and the features of each in order to help you decide what is going to be a good fit for your family. already made a preschool curriculum comparison video um, more than a year ago but I decided it was time to update this video because I'm going to be showing two curriculums which have been released since that video was published and also one of the curriculums I initially showed in that video has now had a very major update so it's pretty much completely different and I decided it was time to update. Now the purpose of this video is not to say like one of these is a right choice and another one is a wrong choice. None of that. This is to help you decide what is going to be a good fit for your family by getting a closer look inside and seeing the features and the moving pieces of each curriculum. Now, there are many who claim that you don't need a preschool curriculum at all and sure, I'll agree with that, but I am actually very pro homeschool preschool. I am very pro preschool curriculum because we as moms of little children we have to make so many decisions in a day and sometimes you can just get de decision fatigue. I do enjoy having some kind of plan that sometimes I can open up just open up a book and it's gonna tell me what to do with my toddler and it's gonna tell me a good productive idea because the days of being a mom of little people they are long and they are very full with very high energy little people. And preschool is not about sitting around for hours drilling the ABCs and one, two, threes. It's about playing. It's about reading books. It's about building foundational life skills and motor skills, building foundational relationship skills, having conversations with your kids. There's so much that is fun and that you can do intentionally in the preschool phase that I would say you don't even have to limit yourself to just one preschool curriculum necessarily or only just one year of preschool. For me, I think it's kind of nice to start preschool a little on the early side and just rest in it for a while without feeling the need to just, oh, let's do one exact school year, 36 weeks of preschool, and then we'll go straight to kindergarten from that point. That's not what I'm doing in my home. I'm, I did do the route of starting preschool at a young age and I'm just planning to rest in it and enjoy it for a while and watch as my kids grow in this, grow in their skills and confidence until they're ready for kindergarten. But I'm in no rush because preschool is fun. Now, let me show you some of the resources that you could use to make your preschool a lot of fun. I'm going to start off by just quickly showing you the Letters and Numbers series from Gather Round Homeschool. This is Gather Round's full preschool option that they give. It is a series of four books. So there's one, then two on the farm, there's three, and then four is in the air. And I know I printed a copy and I cannot find it at the moment. So you're gonna have to get the idea from only three out of the four. <laughs> now each one of these comes with a teacher's guide and a student book. And the teacher's guide follows the same structure throughout all of them. This is a good curriculum for kids who are very into animals and possibly parents who are very into animals. If you don't if you're not a big animal fan, you might not like this very much because most it, everything follows a certain type of habitat theme and basically you're going to be reading about an animal every day. So this is what the little lessons that you read to your preschooler look like. We have a very short little lesson on a moose here. Three basic, basic comprehension questions in a short little reading passage for the Bible section. And it repeats like that throughout the series. First one is the forest theme, a farm theme, then we have a jungle theme, and then we have the flying, flying things theme. Oh, that's the student book. No wonder there's no lessons inside it. So this is very simple to use as is, not really any prep. If you buy it digitally, you just can print it, 
read the lessons and do the worksheets with your child. There's a lesson to read for each day. And then in the student book, there are three worksheets to read each day. If you want to add on, you could definitely add on with just storybooks or um, videos about the animals that you're learning about uh, in the science portion of it. Uh, but there's no specific books recommended for that. There's no, um, like in the curriculum itself. I believe in the Gather Round app nowadays, they have a bunch of recommendations for different added activities or book storybooks or so on. If you are the, if you want something extra that goes with the theme, they do have they they use these kind of cartoon personified letter friends and number friends as you go throughout. Now, so the teacher's guide is introducing animals all throughout, but we, this is letters and numbers. So the whole student book is very letters and numbers focused, and we learn a new letter every week for the 26 weeks of letters, letters and numbers one and two. So to go through these two, it will take 26 weeks. To go through letters and numbers three and four, it will be another 26 weeks and you're going through the alphabet again. But the difference is between one and two and three and four is that now you're adding handwriting. So now letters are being introduced with also learning to write them. So for example, here we're getting introduced to the letter D in how to write it. So they're learning sounds, names, and how to write it in this book. Just trying to give you a look inside. I do think that the worksheets are the very strong um, portion of the Letters and Numbers program. There's three worksheets for each day. There's a, they're very interactive and creative. There's a lot of cutting and pasting. So if you have kids who like to cut and paste and color, like if you, they like all of this, they're probably going to really enjoy the worksheets. Yeah, there's a definitely some beautiful watercolor artwork there for how many things. We've got five fish, three keys, two shoes, and that's tying into the little number friends characters, which are right here. So this is a preschool that focuses a lot on animal science. It, within the curriculum, there's not really any literature story so much itself. Um, there is Bible, there's the short Bible little readings for each lesson and then mainly the student books are focused on letters and numbers, but there is some incorporation of other skills um, like social studies or map mapping or science kind of tied into the animals. There are occasional Bible pages. So there's a little bit of other subjects worked in into the student books. Something to note is that if you have an older preschooler who's ready to start writing, you could just jump in with letters and numbers three and four. If you have a younger preschooler, you, could, um, you would definitely wanna jump in with these because there's no expectation to write letters in this book at all. Um, I did the letters and numbers one and two with my son before he turned three and the the workbook pages were no problem for him at all and as for where to buy this oh, i should give you a look inside the farm one as for where to buy this you can buy it on gather rounds website in either print format or digital format this is going to be one of the more expensive digital formats um, programs because i believe the digital files are about 45 dollars for each of letters and numbers one, two, three, and four. So I guess that's about $180 for just the four books with, without them being printed, which does make it a little bit on the pricey side, but for something that's just easy put together, something that has a lot of creative worksheets, that is um, one option for you to check out. All right, now I have to show you Purely Preschool. This is the curriculum that I release and um, that I write and create together with my family. Uh, and it is published through our website, whereedyoulearnthat.com, where we publish more than just preschool, but this is our preschool series. For Purely Preschool, which is also available in its Spanish edition, Puramente Preescolar, it's 
um, being released in a series of units, which there are seven units available right now. The newest one is fall, and each unit is designed to last about a month. It has four lessons, with each lesson lasting about a week. And I'm just going to show you what you can expect. Within each unit, there is a sample weekly schedule, which I don't have right here to show you, but there will also be a book list with two core books for each lesson and one extra book, typically one extra book, just in case you, you want to be extra. <laughs> I, like, I like that word extra. I do use it in here for certain types of activities because anything that's a little bit more uh, requires more time, effort, energy, supplies. I list it particularly as an extra so that you don't feel like, oh man, I'm missing out because I do not want to visit an apple orchard. Okay, I'll just quickly explain um, the heart behind this program and how it works a little bit right here. This right here is two pages or two sides of a page and this is your little lesson plan for the week. And basically, the, um, as explained, I have a note in when you buy each unit, there's a note explaining how to use it. But the rough idea is that you can read these two books every single day of the week, repeating them throughout the week. You can sing the song every day throughout the week. But then of the other activities, you choose just one or two to do throughout the week. This program is a literature-based program and a skills based program. The alphabet and early math, this is not meant to be any kind of systematic introduction to phonics or to, you know, very, very good math skills at this point. That is not my heart for preschool. My heart for it was really just building an appreciation for story, building an awareness of the world around you, and really building life skills and relational skills. So we always have life skills, which are very, very practical opportunities to involve your child in your everyday life. We always have love homework, which are different opportunities to invest in relationships. Children play a responsible role in their relationships. They interact in relationship. And it's important for them to think about how their actions can influence their relationships. We do have a Bible verse associated with each one. Um, clearly, the preschooler is not going to be necessarily memorizing this Bible verse or anything. You can read it. You can talk about it with a preschooler. Um, in many ways, I, I choose a theme for each unit. The theme for um, the fall unit is gratitude. And a lot of times the Bible verses are simply ones that I know I would want to um, meditate on and focus on. Um, while I'm doing preschool with my children and things that I am still in the process of learning as we all are as parents. We have our um, motor skills activities as well. Um, that's a big focus. And then we always have two little learning statement cards, which they're marked by underlined words in the uh, lesson plan. But each lesson comes with two. One is a science focus, like this one, many trees lose their leaves in the fall. And these you can go over every week or every day with your student. Then this is the health and safety one. Touching my eyes, nose, and mouth can make me sick. Now the purpose of these, there's a couple good purposes of these. It's teaching, um, we, I work, I use these both to start conversations with my son so kind of as conversation starters. Now we're going to talk about germs. We're going to talk about um, why we, how germs can get in our bodies, why we shouldn't be touching our eyes, nose, and mouth. And we'll use that as a conversation throughout the week. But I will also use this as a memory statement for him. He'll be learning to practice speaking in a complete sentence, which is not something he's naturally doing all the time, being three years old. But it's also a conversation starter about the facts of life, about science, about health and safety. So we have various little cards like this. I laminate the cards that I'm using because we use them in little flashcard games. We hide them around the room. We do all sorts of things. Let's see, so this is apples, apples. So these are from our different themes for the month of fall. 
there's usually a couple um, printables that are associated with some of the activities. Just a few because what I, I, I really made this with, oh, I put the letter L in between the lesson. I really made this with the idea of real um, homeschool moms in mind because I loved literature-based learning. I loved play and projects and I loved preschool themes, but I, I'm a minimalist and I don't have like cupboards and cupboards full of so many props and decorations and everything. I live overseas, so I can't just pick up any old book from the library. So I needed to make it easy. I include YouTube read aloud links for all the core books that we're doing. I include YouTube links for all the music that we do. Uh, you can see my supply list is incredibly short. Some basically don't require any supplies other than normal preschool crayons and glue and stuff like that. So my idea was, you know, uh, us minimalist moms, people who live overseas, people who just don't want to do any prep, we want to have fun preschool too. We want to have those fun themes. And I knew there could be an easier and simpler way. So that is that was my heart and my passion for this. And I've had a lot of feedback from parents saying their kids love these statements, that these are some of their favorite things from the curriculum and that parents love how simple it is to use. Now also the kind of twist here is that there's a complete Spanish edition for each unit that is completely in Spanish with all the activities, memory statements, the books that you're reading and the songs are in Spanish and this is because that this is actually what got me started. It started out it was going to be just a Spanish preschool curriculum literature-based preschool curriculum, and then I was talked into making it into an English one as well. So thank you, friends, you know who you are, <laughs> for being so persuasive. But definitely consider this as an option, and you can find it on my website, where'd you learn that com. Now, if you know anything about Sunlight, you might expect Sunlight's preschool program to be a big old pile of really good books. And you would be right. <laughs> so this is Sunlight's Fiction, Fairy Tales, and Fun. I do have the older um, version of it, which still has a lot of the same books. So these are all the same books that are included in the newer edition just released this year. Um, these are amazing books. There are a few, especially in this McCloskey treasury, that are maybe a little bit, like that one, <laughs> a little bit beyond actual preschool um, age level, um, but um, also if you know Sunlight, the Sunlight tends to have you reading a little bit more advanced books than you might expect, but you know sometimes trust your kids and they might be able to handle it. I've had this whole set of books for several years now. We've read all of these stories multiple multiple times. This one, Our Animal Friends from Maple Hill Farm, is a very very favorite for my boys. Um, this one, though, I'm pretty sure takes the cake with how many hours have been spent just simply paging through this book and studying it in great detail for my older son. This He, he will sit and just read this book, read it, you know, look at it by himself for long, long sessions. It's been a long time favorite, of course, Richard Scary. So this is just a handful. There are more books. There's a poem book. Um, and I think in the new edition, they even have a first Spanish words book, the Georgia Martha stories. This was totally new to me um, once we first got this, and these are very funny. But some of the changes that Sunlight made with the new curriculum is that the new schedule is a lot more in-depth. Before, it was just a list of some ideas to go with each book or story. Now, it's actually scheduled out for you um, on a three-day schedule that goes throughout the year. And there's also some letters and numbers activities scheduled in and some ex extra kind of letters and numbers, sensory flashcards and um, different types of materials to actually do those activities. So there's like a little activity box of materials that goes with it. So it's no longer just books. because, um, And I think that is a definitely a good improvement. I am the kind of person who appreciates a schedule a good bit. 
So I know many other people <laughs> do. And also this Family Time Bible, this is one of my favorite um, children's Bibles for early, for early childhood. Um, it's a very, very good one and accurate and my son very much likes the realistic pictures the very realistic pictures even though sometimes they're a little bit they're a little bit intense but you know what so is the bible all right and now i am showing you inside gentle and classical preschool this is the new edition uh gentle and classical preschool has been around for a handful of years but just this year it got majorly updated and some really big improvements were made over the original Gentle and Classical Preschool. So I wanted to show you what you can expect. Um, the program is now divided into 26 units to follow the 26 letters of the alphabet. You know, that's a very popular kind of preschool theme. This is designed for roughly the two to four age range. So it's an early preschool. Kids aren't really expected to be writing there are a few parts of it. Um, so this is the just overall view of the whole unit, which depending on the age of your child, you might do a unit in a week or you might do a unit in two weeks, you know, whatever is gonna work for you. Then for each unit, you have a core story that you're reading that ties in somehow to the letter of the week. Then you have multiple different sections. I would say definitely one of the strengths of this program is in it's it's very very faith based. There's scripture and there's catechism questions as well as character. So there is quite um, this is definitely a very strongly faith based um, program. There are math. Um, there is always a math statement and manners and hygiene. You learn a nursery rhyme, some kind of all about me and a motor skills. So these are her cards. Now her recommendation, the writer's recommendation is that you have this um, memory statement board that maybe goes on the wall or sets up on a bookshelf or something. And you hang up all of your memory statements for the week on that board and she has one for each of these different sections are getting a memory statement card. The good thing about homeschool is you adapt this to be whatever works best for your family. So for me, I've never actually used the memory statement board, um, but I have used some of the cards. I only print out the cards for the sections I'm most wanting to focus on, uh, which for me has been the catechism, the scripture, uh, catechism and character are on the same card, and the math. Let me see, is that? I'll, oh, and the manners and hygiene. So I only have printed out four of the card sets, not all of the card sets. And then I actually use them more like flashcards, and we play games with them, and we handle them, which is why I laminated them, <laughs> to make them able to stand up to the handling of small children. So she has a very watercolor style um, with her cards. We have our different statements that we can go over. There are songs attached to some of them. So the I Am Patient song goes to the Are You Sleeping, Brother John, and then Why Did God Make All Things? These are the songs for saplings, catechism songs that you can find on online or on Songs for Saplings CDs or downloads. And then there are also math. Let me show you over here. There's math cards. They focus on, um, they use the math that she recommends going through the math preschool math at home by Kate Snow, which I recently made a video going through that book. So you can um, take a look at that video if you're interested in that um, resource for math for preschool and she also has her Bible verse oh wait this is the Bible verse card these are the manners and hygiene cards so there's a lot of just simple little statements and simple little ideas so hers um, this curriculum I would say has a very strong focus on faith and character and um, more of a Charlotte Mason kind of feel to it. If 
you can actually find this. You can find the teacher's guide for free as a free download on her website. And in the beginning of the teacher's guide, there is lots of information about the whole philosophy behind this program, which I 100% recommend reading if um, you're thinking about using it. I have already read it before. So when I was printing out this teacher's guide, I didn't bother printing the pages. I didn't necessarily want to have to read or use on a daily basis. I just printed what I wanted. Now, all the pages that look like this are from the teacher's guide, but that's not all folks. There's also an activity and handicraft guide, which is gonna start looking something like this. So for each unit, there's actually a whole schedule here that shows what a unit looks like. There are handicraft activities. There are read more extra books that you could add on to the topic. So based on, okay, we're learning, this is for the unit that was about the letter D. There's D books, but then there's other somewhat connected books based on what the um, learning statements were. There's maybe some idea about a little science activity. There's some more thoughts here. So here, we'll see it here, unit 15. There's the, some you know writings for her, writings from her for the parent to read and to kind of be able to see what, what is she going for. Um, now, you'll notice, you might be able to notice in my printing, I did not print out the handicraft instructions. She has very detailed, in full color picture handicraft instructions. I'm not the kind of person that needs a lot of instructions for crafts. I mostly am the kind of person that looks at Pinterest, sees an end result picture and doesn't even bother to go to the article because I'm just like, ah, I think I know how to make that. <laughs> So um, to save myself some printing, I just didn't print out um, all the pages <laughs> of this. But if you like instructions, don't worry, they are there. <laughs> One more piece to the gentle and classical preschool, which you'll see mentioned in the weekly unit guides is the morning binder, which has just a variety of pages um, with the different math concepts as well as the letters of the alphabet. This is the preschool morning binder. Um, and uh, I put mine in a, th what are these called? <laughs> in dry erase um, type of pages so that we could use a dry erase marker or even put stickers on things as we go um, through the year and we can repeat the same pages again and again throughout the week or when we have a review week. Um, I think this morning binder is actually great even if you're not using gentle and classical preschool at all and you just want something like this that can be very much repeated all throughout. Um, kind of not one worksheet that you're printing off again and again, but a worksheet that you can just, you know, do the same thing. Again, tracing, so we've got shapes, we've got numbers, over here, colors, and the letters of the alphabet. So, just wanna give you a quick look inside that. And now Horizons Preschool for Threes. There's a couple um, just pieces of this. This is a very simple, pretty open and go curriculum. And there's the teacher's guide. There is the student workbook and the student workbook companion. There is also a Bible story reader, which I don't have at the moment with me, um, but you'll just have to trust me, it exists. So if you buy the set, you're gonna pretty much have everything you need. And I'm just gonna show you the big overview. I'll start on the front page of how it works. There's 40 lessons and there's a schedule for dividing out a lesson into a week. So this could be a 40 week curriculum. And if you'll notice, it follows through the story of the Bible. So the whole structure of this is a little bit different from other from the other curriculums I've shown you in that it really is just kind of following through the Bible. The first 20 are Old Testament and the next 20 are New Testament um, stories. So you're going through 40 stories of the Bible is kind of the core structure of it all. Then let me get to a lesson. Um, your lessons have very um, detailed just instructions for the teacher. There's ideas for little extensions that you can make. There's no specific um, like storybook recommendations, but it wouldn't be too hard to add that on if you wanted to add more literature. I'll show you the worksheets. So it's a very, very simple amount of worksheets, not a heavy load of worksheets because 
There's typically about five in a week, so that's about one worksheet in a day. So very much not an overload on worksheets. Very simple Bible structure. The student workbook companion has a lot of interactive kind of activities. So this is the one thing you might want to prep a little bit if you wanted to, you don't have to. Um, but this is, these are a lot of little games or activities that you could do again and again if you want to. So like cut out squares, arrange squares from largest to smallest, from smallest to largest. And a lot of these activities are great to do even if you're not doing the whole program. They're just little reasoning kind of puzzles or matching activities. I'll show you what's inside. So here we've got some different seasonal seasonal items to sort out and put into different seasons and just very very age appropriate preschool topics right here you see we've got different colors of squares here i remember using this and having the kids put different colored objects on top of these um arranging animals by size then you can talk about the names of different animals. All right. So I hope that is helpful for you to see kind of the inside of that and how that one works.